guys, it's Nikki. So in today's video, I'm coming at you barefaced because today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine. Skincare is something that's super important to me and it's something that obviously I think is important if you really love makeup because skincare, if you have good skin, makeup is going to look even better. I just think if you have really healthy looking skin with really good products that really complement your skin and your regimen and everything like that, your makeup is going to look a lot better. It's going to look a lot more flawless. Also too, the products for your skin type will work for you a lot better if you have a skincare regimen that complements that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire skincare routine. I'm barefaced today because this is obviously what my face always looks like after I do my skincare routine in the morning. I prefer to do it with no makeup so you guys can really see what my skin looks like and everything and you can really see what I'm talking about and you can really understand kind of how my face feels when I use these products. And one little disclaimer I want to point out just because I love these products and these products work for me doesn't mean that they work for everyone else so if you try a product and it doesn't work for you or you don't like it or you just need a different line just know that everyone's skin is different. I have combination skin and if you don't know what that is it means I'm oily in my t-zone here and kind of more of right here and then I'm dry on the outer parts of my face. So in the center that is where I have the most pores that's where I'm the most oily also to where a lot of my texture is so my skin might be different than someone else who's oily or someone else who's dry or someone else who's more normal so keep that into consideration that not everyone's skin is the same so obviously different products work for different people without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video I am so excited also too this video is not sponsored you might notice that I have a lot of the same brand of products that's just because when I find a regimen that I love I stick with that because you don't want to fix something that's not broken all right let's get into it so the first thing I want to show you guys is a makeup remover now I only use makeup remover in the evening time just because that's when obviously I take off my makeup to go to bed if I'm not wearing makeup I won't use this but this is the Clinique this is the take off the day balm um, so it literally is just a balm that looks like this and you scoop it up with your fingers and you just kind of melt it together with your hands and basically just apply it all over the face and it literally melts your makeup off. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this product because this is a like cult favorite. I just started incorporating this into my skincare routine about six months ago and so this is my second jar of this and I love this. This literally lasts you forever. I got this jar when before I went on my vacation to Arizona so I got this jar in May. And it's almost August now so this has lasted me a good while also too I mean when I don't wear makeup that's obviously saving product but this is an amazing amazing product I'm gonna be kind of referring off to the back because obviously these are the claims of the product and I'm gonna tell you what I think of them so it's allergy tested it's 100% fragrance free which is true this doesn't have a fragrance I'm not super key on makeup removers that have a fragrance because it kind of irritates my skin and also burns my eyes. I've used makeup wipes, like the Neutrogena makeup wipes, I can't use because they burn my eyes so bad. Or like any makeup remover that's an oil that has a scent to it, it just burns my eye area. So this doesn't do that and when this gets into your eyes, like obviously I use this to take off my eye makeup as well, it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting, it doesn't make your eyes super red. Honestly, when you wash your face with face wash and water after using this product, it doesn't hurt, your eyes aren't red, they don't sting, it just comes out and I have never noticed a problem with this product for me and I love it. I've taken this traveling. It works really good when traveling. I don't have an issue with this breaking or shattering. Basically, it quickly dissolves your eye makeup and face makeup. That's very true. Um, and it also gets rid of any sunscreen and then it transformed from a solid balm to a silky fluid oil upon application. That's true. So what I mean is when you rub it together, 
and then apply it. I always like to rub it together just to get it evenly in my hands and I apply it. It just melts the makeup off and it's perfect. I love it. I 100% recommend this. You can get this at Ulta or Sephora or even the Clinique website. The next item I have is a face wash. I'm going in the order here of how I actually do my skincare because I feel like that's the most helpful and beneficial. This is a face wash. Ooh, I have a hair on it. This is by Image Skincare and this is the Ormetic line. You will see that I have quite a few products from this line because this is more of like your balancing line. This is really good for people with more combination skin, which is what I have. So I really like this line because it's not overly hydrating, but it's not something that's going to control your oil, like just control your oil. It's going to give you a little bit of both. So this is the Ormetic um, Balancing Facial Cleanser by Image. Um, all their different regimens come with different colors. So anything with this green packaging is the Ormetic line. And this face wash, like, this is huge. I love this. And again, I bought this way, like, I probably bought this like four or five months ago and I'm not even halfway done. You can't even see, but I'm right here. I'm not even halfway done with this bottle yet. This smells so good. I can't even really explain it. It just smells really good it smells like aloe and I've never had an issue with face washes burning my eyes and this one doesn't um, it smells like aloe and just really fresh and clean and I love this face wash it does a really good job of getting all the makeup off I'm gonna go ahead and read the back for you guys so this is an organic blend gel cleanser that lifts away makeup and impurities helps balance the pH of your skin and eliminates the need for a toner. So something really cool I want to talk about this product too. So I actually don't use a toner. When I wake up in the morning, I'll just wash my face with this. And I notice that I don't have any extra dirt or anything on my face or makeup. So this does an amazing job of getting all of that off. Plus the Clinique Take Off the Day Balm does help as well. But I literally don't use a toner and this does such a good job of removing any dirt, any oil, any makeup. So when I go to sleep at night and when I wake up in the morning, I wash my face. When I wipe my face off with my towel, I don't notice I have any extra residue on my face, which is amazing. I've also never found a toner that I love. I've used the Glow Skin Beauty toner like for combination skin for a long time and honestly, it was fun, it was in a spray, it felt nice, but I didn't think it made a super big difference in my skin. I have been wanting to try a toner just to make sure I'm getting everything off my skin, um, just to give it like a little extra added, you know, remove and everything like that. I've been wanting to try the Dr. Jart toner, but I don't know. I haven't really seen anyone try it, but it has amazing reviews on Sephora, so if you guys, um, know of anyone who's tried it or if you've tried it and you love it let me know down below so I might look into adding that into my skincare routine but as of right now I just don't feel like I need one basically it's a harmonizing blend of organic chamomile green tea and oat kernel extract delivers essential nutrients to restore your skin to natural balance leave skin soft hydrated and clean that's true my skin feels like baby soft after I use this this is just amazing and I love it what I really love that this mainly this product has is like aloe and leaf fetch. What I really love that this product has like for like the main ingredients is aloe and leaf extract um, and everything like that because that really does help calm and reduce redness. Which I do have a lot of on my cheeks but I noticed when I use this product it really calms it down. Obviously when I take my makeup off and I take the cleaning take off the day balm you can see my redness. And then when I use this product, it really does calm it down and make it just really smooth and hydrated. And this is probably one of my favorite face washes. The product I have is a serum. I love serums, especially in my skincare routine. This is one of my favorite serums. This is the Image Skincare. This is the Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. This is one of their best sellers. This is from the um, Vital C collection for Image, which is like their hydrating regimen. Since I eat a more combination, I do obviously like to use more balancing products. But for serums, I like to use something just a little bit more hydrating. So that way I do have that extra boost of hydration in my skin. And I'm not just applying balance combination products. I do want a little bit more of that hydration because I am dry on the outside of the skin. So this doesn't make me oily. This doesn't make me too shiny. 
it really just makes my skin look really beautiful but it makes my skin feel so hydrated so this is a hydrating serum that incorporates the new technology of oil soluble vitamin c with the highest bioavailability to immediately soothe the visible effects of environmentally damaged skin vitamin a e and highly potent antioxidants nourish the skin to create a healthy youthful glow and it's paraben free i can agree to that i just have this gorgeous look to my face after i use this i just look healthy and i look radiant and also too i've noticed so i do have a few um, I wouldn't say I have sun damage to my skin but I do have some hyperpigmentation I also do have some dark spots on my face as well this really does a good job of just lightening up those imperfections and making sure everything is even I love this product is all it also does help with anti-aging which is amazing I use this oh I should probably tell you guys how much I use these I use this in the morning and at night and then same with the cleanser I use it in the morning and at night as well but I love the smell of this it smells so good it's not overpowering and I love the little um, pump here it doesn't get stuck and um, I think it's a great product usually after a serum is when I would use an eye cream but believe it or not I don't have an eye cream that I love I've used the glow skin beauty eye cream for a really long time um, but I really just did not see a big difference with that product whatsoever I really want to try the Ormetic um, eye cream by image because um, it just looks really promising and it's supposed to help with dark circles but every time I go to buy it so I can try it out it is sold out so that's how you know it must work but it is sold out on their website it is sold out where I go to get image in store because um, my old where I got certified and got my degree in aesthetics um, they sell image so that's how I was introduced to this line but they're literally sold out every time I go in there to get this product so I'm just like well great I can't win so once I try that out that product and if it's a holy grail I will let you guys know but until then I don't use an eye cream I kind of just take my moisturizer under my eyes and for moisturizer I use this this is the image skin care obviously the Ormetic balancing bio peptide moisturizer this is a expensive product I'm gonna put that out there for a moisturizer and it does come in a little jar like this this literally smells like sweet tarts it smells amazing it doesn't irritate the skin it smells so freaking good so this is part of their Ormetic line again so this is really good for combination skin for balancing and this moisturizer just is so fluffy it's more thicker as you can see here in the jar it's a whipped moisturizer that you scoop out it does come with a little scooper but since I don't have nails anymore I don't really need to use that and you apply it to the skin it just feels so good so hydrated you do have to be careful that you don't use a lot I do like to take this down my neck as well because it really does a good job of hydrating the neck this is an organically blended biopeptide cream that delivers essential age defying nutrients and vitamins to the skin organic Japanese green tea aloe vera chamomile and grape seed help restore and balance the skin it's paraben free which is nice it just tells you how to apply it I use this morning and night as well lots of benefiting skincare ingredients are in here so this is a great great moisturizer this does such a great job of hydrating my skin but not over hydrating because this is a balancing moisturizer it's meant to hydrate your skin just enough not give you enough hydration to make you like look oily or to make you look overly hydrated where you look like just a greasy shiny mess but this is one of my favorite moisturizers I love it my skin just looks so much better when I use this and I love it so 10 out of 10 recommend so the last product that I use I actually use only in the morning because it's an SPF product this is the image skincare this is the prevention plus daily matte moisturizer oil free this is their sunscreen this is their SPF I use SPF 32 on an everyday so I get their matte SPF because their hydrating SPF is really good for dry skin and it gives you a really pretty luminosity but for me it's way too much with my combo skin it makes me look like I'm a grease ball in the center of my face this does give you a very beautiful glow um, with the matte but it doesn't make you look oily and when it's under makeup it doesn't make your makeup look shiny as well it literally is just a matte sunscreen this is completely clear 
So when you apply it, um, I'll show you. This smells amazing as well. It also smells like sweet tarts. It is so yummy and I love this sunscreen. So as you can see um, up in here, it is white. But when you apply it to the skin, it goes on completely clear. So you don't look white. They do have a tinted one as well. So if you're one who doesn't necessarily like to wear makeup and you just want to walk out the door or you have imperfections or hyperpigmentation on your face, you can always get the tinted version of this. I just like using the clear. I 10 out of 10 recommend getting a good sunscreen. Um, usually they put them in like moisturizer forms and it's literally just sunscreen, but I would recommend getting a facial sunscreen just because it's going to help your skin tremendously and it's going to give you that protection on an everyday because you can still get skin damage even when it's not in the summertime. You can still get skin damage when it's cloudy. In the winter time you can actually suffer from like really bad windburn and so this helps with that as well it just protects your skin so please protect your skin especially if you're at the pool or anything like that I bring this with me so I apply SPF all over my body and then I bring this specifically for my face because usually I don't burn which I'm very lucky about I usually get a nice tan on me I don't burn but if I would burn it's usually my nose and my cheeks that are the first things to burn and I've noticed that when I use this product I don't burn I don't have any peeling going on so just protect your skin it can prevent further damage like way down the line that you don't want to deal with so protect your skin ladies and gents and this one is amazing smells amazing doesn't feel greasy on the skin and when you apply makeup over it it goes smooth it doesn't alter the color it doesn't alter the formula of your makeup so this is a really good product I 10 out of 10 recommend and yes. The next three products I'm going to talk about are optional products. This first one is a lip scrub. So I love to exfoliate twice a week on my skin. My skin can handle a good exfoliation um, and I love exfoliating twice a week. If you are one when you're not used to exfoliating, I would only exfoliate once a week so you don't overdo it on your skin. And once your skin gets used to that, you can kind of work your way up. I recommend only doing twice a week if you do. But um, I do exfoliate my lips twice a week as well. So this is the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub and this is in Salted Caramel. My camera does not want to pick up on this white packaging. This Woo, guys, this is making me hungry. This literally smells like salted caramel, and I absolutely love the smell of salt salted caramel. I love the taste of salted caramel. I love getting salted caramel lattes or macchiatos or anything they come out with, with like in the fall time that literally smells and tastes like this, I will get. This is only one of the lip scrubs I have from him because it takes me so long to go through a lip scrub, you guys. Even when I do it twice a week, I don't take a huge amount. I take like a nice size that I would need. But this is also vegan and you can eat it. I don't recommend just snacking on your lip scrub. I do want to try Lush lip scrubs because um, I've never tried them, but a lot of people love them. I have a friend that has like the chocolate one. I think it's chocolate. But she always says it tastes like chocolate and it smells amazing and it works really good. But this, after you rub it on. So basically what I do, I just take... I will open this up. I will take just like a little scoop. I'm doing, I'll do it over my sink. That way any extra flakiness or any extra product falls in my sink. And I just rub it on my lips for about maybe 10 seconds. And I just like rub my lips together and really make sure that they feel smooth. I do like to get the outside of my lips as well, which I know a lot of people might think that's weird, but I like to kind of get the outside ring of my lips as well, just because I do get a lot of, I get chapped a lot there, especially in like the fall and winter time. Um, I just get really bad dry chapped lips. So that does a really good job of exfoliating all around the mouth. And then I basically will just lick it off and whatever residue I left over, I will just take a towel, wipe it off, and then I'll apply my SPF. So I do this two times a week. Um, I usually will do it on like a Monday and a Friday just because I don't know, I like it. I noticed that if I do it on a Monday, my lips are good till Friday and then I get any extra stuff from the week off. This also does a really good job of getting off your um, liquid lipsticks or like a super dark lipstick that won't come off. This does a really good job of getting that off as well. Um, I use this before SPF 
That way it doesn't stick to my SPF <laughs> and that way too it's easier to get off. So this is a really good product. If you've never tried the Jeffree Star Lip Scrubs, I 10 out of 10 recommend you do because they smell amazing, they work amazing, and my lips are always just super, super smooth. So the next two things I'm going to talk about are masks. Masks are 100% optional. I personally think masks do help with your skincare. They are kind of a little bit more of a little added luxury, but I love them and I want to start getting into a masking routine where I'm masking every day, Monday through Friday, doing a different mask each night. I don't know if that would be like too much, but I want to do different masks for different things each night. So one night I'll exfoliate, one night I'll do more of a hydrating mask, one night I'll do more of the enzyme mask one night I'll do more of like a smoothing mask then like the last night just do something that's really glowy for like the weekend so that's kind of what I want to start doing but as of right now these are the two masks that I absolutely love so this first one that I use I actually use I use on Mondays and Fridays which I know might be like what but I use this on Mondays and Fridays and this is the Lush Cup of Coffee. This is the face and body mask. I have the smaller size because I traveled with this. So that's why I got the smaller size. I didn't want to travel with the big size. I've had the big size before. This smells like coffee. So if you don't like the smell of coffee, you probably won't like this mask. It's a very strong scent. But this is what it looks like and it kind of like moves. But it literally looks like coffee. It kind of looks like you have doo-doo on your face, but you know, like, whatever. But this is a really good mask, and if you don't know, Lush is all, like, homemade, organic, natural products. Really good for the skin. So this mask is really good for kind of more exfoliating. This is, it says, ground coffee scrubs away dirt and dry skin while giving your skin a boost of caffeine. And then you leave it on for 15 minutes, and then you wash it off with warm water. This is a really good product. It's basically a good exfoliating mask, so it gets off all that dead skin and dryness and leaves your skin really soft and it has a boost. It gives your skin a little bit of a boost because it has the caffeine in it. But I love using this two times a week. Like I said, I like to use it on Mondays and Fridays just so it gives my skin a good exfoliation. I leave this product on for 15 minutes and then I will wash it away and then I use this before I do my skincare routine. So basically I will wash my face in the shower and then after I wash my face, I will do this mask and then once I take this off, that's when I'll do serum and moisturizer and everything like that. It's a really good product. It's nice about Lush, if you didn't know, I sound like such an ad in this video. I promise this isn't sponsored. I just love these products. What's nice about this um, Lush products is that when you run out, you can bring in your empty containers to Lush. And I think they give you like a punch card. I've done it before, but I haven't done it in a long time because I kind of didn't use Lush when I was in aesthetic school, so I'm getting back into using Lush. Um, but they give you like a card, and when you turn in so many empties, you get like a free product. So that's what's really cool about this. I love this. It smells like coffee and works amazing. What's really nice, so you apply it to the skin, and then when you take water, you just rub it together, rub it all on your skin, and then wipe it off, and your skin just looks so smooth and just looks honestly better. Well, I love this mask. I love Lush masks. This is my absolute favorite one I've tried, and I will forever repurchase it. This next mask I like to use once a week because it is a very hydrating mask. And this is the Image Skincare. This is the Ormetic Balancing Gel Mask. So basically this is a really good hydrating mask for someone that has combination skin because it gives your skin enough hydration but it's not overly hydrating. It doesn't make you oily or doesn't make you look super shiny. Um, so this is what it looks like. It looks like um, what the SPF comes in. It's just smaller. And you open it up. Let me try to like squeeze some out. So it's like completely clear if you can't tell. It's a completely clear mask. But when you apply it, you know it's on because you just look like you have glass skin. It doesn't sink into the skin. You just look like you have like a glass layer on your skin like you just look like you have gel in all honesty so this is an ultra gentle organic gel mask developed to soothe and hydrate unbalanced skin formulated with organic aloe vera um calendula i can't say that and cucumber immediately quenching the skin with hydration nutrition and super antioxidants this mask is designed for every skin type for the ultimate balanced glow this is very hydrating this does give you a glow that's only why i like to use it once a week i like to use this in the middle of the week so i like to use it on a wednesday but this is a very very hydrating product which is why i only like to use it once a week because in that way it gives my skin that extra hydration 
but I'm not overdoing it and I'm not over hydrating. So I recommend if you have combination skin, I would use this only once a week because then that way you're not overdoing your skin. If your skin can take it two times a week, great. But my skin, if I do it two times a week, I will look overly hydrated. It'll be way too much for me. So that's why I like to do it once a week. I also like to do it two days after I exfoliate because I just think it adds in that extra hydration. And also, too, I just think it makes my skin look really glowy um, from the exfoliation. So I really like this product. And this is one of my favorites. You only need a little bit. So you can apply it for 5 to 30 minutes. I like to leave it on for about 15 minutes. And then you can use it one to three times a week or as needed and then remove with warm water as well. So yeah. I love this mask. I love these products. These are all my favorite. That's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about my favorite skincare products. These are products that I absolutely love. These are products that I absolutely believe in, so I'm so happy I have these because they have helped my skin tremendously. If you guys are interested in any of these products, I will leave Image and Lush's websites down below where you can always go and purchase these products products as well as prices but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it also to please subscribe down below for new videos every week and don't forget to leave any video suggestions down below on videos you want to see and don't forget to follow my socials as well so you're notified when I upload videos and also to you can see more into my life you can also see more makeup that I play with so yeah I will see you guys in my next one bye